Ultrasound guided breast biopsy is typically performed to sample palpable lumps and fibroadenomas and is clinically proven to be an effective biopsy tool for dense breast tissue. Spring-loaded core retrieval is widely used in ultrasound guided breast biopsy today with more than 550,000 procedures done annually. The Suro Solero biopsy device is an FDA-cleared spring-loaded core device. The Solero is the first ever fully disposable vacuum-assisted spring-loaded core device, providing better access to challenging lesions. Most clinicians are finding they require fewer tissue samples because of the larger tissue samples obtained using the Solero. Fewer needle insertions offer a more compassionate breast biopsy for your patient and more efficiency for your practice. This video demonstrates the Suro Solero with the optional introducer set. To begin the ultrasound guided breast biopsy procedure, position the patient lying on her back on the exam table. Begin the preliminary scan that will identify the target lesion. Once the area of interest has been identified and confirmed, the patient can be prepared for biopsy. Using a sterile cleanser, prepare the surface of the breast around the biopsy point of entry. Inject an anesthetic into the skin surface at the area of interest and then deep into the target site. During the procedure, the tip of the biopsy needle extends beyond the target site, so it is essential to administer anesthetic beyond this point. Make a skin nick to allow for easier needle entry. Position and hold the transducer over the area of interest so that the entire length of the needle is visible when introduced into the breast. Remove the Solero introducer in stylet from the packaging. The introducer set creates a pathway to the target site and maintains an easy entry system for the biopsy needle. Advance the introducer sheath and stylet as one unit into the breast through the skin nick to the target biopsy site. The stylet tip will marry up with the tip of the Solero prior to biopsy. Leaving the sheath in place, depress the white latch attached to the blue hub that allows release and removal of the stylet. Remove the Solero from the packaging. Release the Solero actuating lever by depressing the black latch located on the left top side of the device. Using the palm surface of your hand, fully compress the actuating lever. This first compression primes the vacuum. Release hand pressure to open the actuating lever in preparation for the second compression. Compress the actuating lever a second time to retract the outer cannula. Release hand pressure to open the actuating lever in preparation for the third and final compression. Compress the actuating lever a third time to retract the inner cannula. During the third and final compression, the actuating lever will secure or latch to the main base of the Solero device. A green indicator appears in the window located on the sides of the Solero handpiece, signifying it is now ready for biopsy. Insert the Solero device through the introducer sheath until it securely locks into place. The Solero may be fired directly into the lesion. To fire the device inside the breast, depress the green button located on the top of the handpiece. The needle will advance 25 millimeters. Confirm the open aperture is in correct placement on the ultrasound image. To begin tissue acquisition, press the blue button on the top of the Solero handpiece. Once you acquire the tissue sample, leave the introducer sheath in place and attach the Solero needle from the hub by pressing the white latch. Remove the needle from the breast. Release the Solero actuating lever by depressing the black latch located on the top left side of the device. Compress the actuating lever one time to prime the vacuum. Tilt the device 180 degrees and compress the actuating lever a second time to retract the outer cannula, exposing the tissue sample for retrieval. Once the sample has been removed from the aperture, compress the actuating lever to retract the inner cannula. You are now ready to reinsert the Solero through the introducer sheath to obtain another tissue sample. Repeat the previous steps to perform the biopsy. In most cases, only two to three tissue samples are needed for an accurate pathology diagnosis. 
Once you have retrieved the tissue samples, remove the Solero from the breast through the introducer sheath, leaving the sheath in place to insert the biopsy site identifier. Insert the Solero mark through the introducer sheath. You will feel the deployment device lock onto the introducer sheath hub. For best visibility, hold the transducer over the biopsy target site and simultaneously deploy the marker. Remove the marker deployment device and introducer sheath from the breast at the same time and immediately apply pressure to the biopsy site. This completes the biopsy procedure. Appropriately dispose of all used Solero products, such as handpiece, introducer set, and marker deployment device.